Right now, we are in the Gateway Green Park. What, if you're old Portland, you call Franklin. And I am old Portland. Lived in the Montgomery twice and the Civic twice. And back in the 90s, this was a BMX park, but it was totally unofficial. Um, and so this is a piece of land that was otherwise unutilized between I-205 there and on the other side, freight tracks and then I-84. And the geological history is, is fascinating. This um, rocky part here is Rocky Butte, I believe. Um, and this was formed by the boring basalts. And then this ridge was actually formed by the Missoula floods. And so this was a scrap piece of land. And in the 90s, people would just come down here and um, ride BMX bikes. Um, sometimes uh, there was a graffiti gallery in that tunnel. And uh, there was also a lot of transit. People would sleep out in the woods. I sometimes did that once or twice here, three or four times. And now, as you can see, this is Gateway Green Park, and it's very um, util it's very developed, manicured. So what they did, um, kind of like the Burnside Sk Skate Park, this was unofficial, and this is actually a metro park, not city of Portland, but metro park. Interesting to know how that would happen, uh, why it's metro, not Portland. Um, but they developed it into this very nice, full-featured park um, for um, bicycle riding, um, BMX like that type of riding. Um, some of this might also be skateboards. I mean, I assume you could bring a skateboard here. And then right here, we just have the I-205 path, which I've been using for a while. And uh, then here, this is even more fascinating. This is the um, red line. And right now it's under construction. And this is the red line improvement project. You can see they're working over there. Uh, they're basically double tracking it because the single track was causing delays as people went in and out of the Gateway Transit Center, which is up over that overpass over there. Um, and it's just fascinating, especially ever since I was a child, I remember looking at this and recognizing it as a type of liminal space. My mom would um, drive, drive us back. She was going to Merrill Hurst College and she would drive us back. And I remember like looking out of the side of the car and like looking at this like, empty like valley or hollow here and just wanting to kind of know what was going on because it was it was just kind of in between and even as a child I would remember that um remember my mom driving down the road listening to Steely Dan my old school uh, and so again I find myself reflecting on like how these liminal spaces um, shaped and helped develop and a lot of times liminal spaces is where subcultures would spontaneously develop this spontaneously became um, for graffiti writing and uh, for bicyclists they spontaneously kind of just made it their place and so you'll see that a lot and then of course one of the things that happens with that liminal space is it becomes official I think that's just part of the cycle Okay, I just wanted to make note of that because when will I be here next? This is the Gateway Green, a.k.a. Franklin, in Northeast Portland.